It's one of the worst security debacles ever to befall American intelligence. A mysterious group obtained many of the hacking tools the U.S. uses to spy on other countries, and released them to the world last year, causing morale at the National Security Agency to plunge and experienced specialists to leave. Our reporters spoke to current and former officials about the breach which has hurt operations at America's largest and most secretive intelligence agency. Fifteen months later, officials still don't know if the NSA was the victim of a brilliantly executed hacking, an insider's leak or both. One of our most popular stories over the weekend examined the Trump administration's strategy to reshape federal appeals courts. President Trump has already appointed eight appellate judges the most this early in a presidency since Richard Nixon. Separately, the administration is siding with doctors in scaling back an Obama-era effort to pay them based on the quality, rather than the quantity, of their work. The president is nearing the end of a 12-day trip to Asia. In Manila today, he noted his great relationship with President Rodrigo Duterte of the Philippines. A day earlier, Mr. Trump denounced his critics from the haters and fools investigating his ties to Russia to North Korea's leader, whom he said he could call short and fat.